shit. 3D printers can make shirts. <laughs> That's really cool. Hey all, welcome back to another Digital Magician's review of the Bamboo Lab H2D. This concludes the three-part series of the Bamboo Lab H2D, covering all the components, the laser, the 3D printing, and now finally the vinyl cutting. I'm so impressed with Bamboo Lab products. When I heard they was releasing another printer, I was like, I like you, he like you. and I want you. <laughs> now we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. And I didn't even care about the price. I knew my credit card bill was gonna be high. As a kite by then. I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing is good at everything it does. The 3D printing is top notch, just like the X1 Carbon. The quality is pretty much the same. Um, just as fast as the X1 Carbon. Minus the dual nozzles do help with the um, dual color, so you save like you could cut time right in half, as you already know, as explained. But this vinyl cutter, if you ever use the Cricut machine, it's I would say it's better than that. So just like the laser cutter, this one went through a lengthy calibration process. I even had to update the firmware. That firmware update paused and took forever. I was like, hello. Um, it asked for about a piece of paper, like a regular eight and a half by 11 piece of paper for the calibration. I thought one was actually packed with the H2D. So I kind of looked through it. Hopefully I didn't actually throw it away, but that don't matter if you did. I actually went and just grabbed the regular and I have my 11 piece of paper out of a printer and just slapped it right on a, the actual mat and let the printer calibrate from there. No matter what you think of Bamboo Lab, everything they do is Easy like Sunday morning. You actually want to come down here and 3D print. You actually want to laser cut. You actually want to use the vinyl cutter. All of the hurdles of trying to make the tool work is gone. It's just creating. That's what's so good about the Bamboo Lab printers. I have confidence in sunshine. I have confidence in rain. I have confidence that spring will come again. Besides which you see, I have confidence in me. Now you can see how sticky this mat is. And I'm literally using the light grip side. They actually have a heavy grip side on the other end, other side of it. I can't imagine using the heavy grip side. That must hold things in place and never move. Like it must be terribly hard to get stuff off that mat, especially how sticky this thing is. I mean, it does a great job of holding your sheets in place. I give it that. I probably will never find a reason to use the heavy grip side can't really think of anything right now that would use, that would need that kind of surface to stick. I had the vinyl sheet also upside down. Um, you want the shiny side down, the vinyl shiny side down and the matte um, kind of surface facing up. This is where um, the translucent part of the paper, the transfer part of the paper is actually on the other side of it. So when it cuts, um, you appeal the, the vinyl backing off and it'll kind of leave the transfer surface so it's easy to actually transfer it to a shirt. my logo in creating a shirt like why not right um 
you know, company stuff, might as well try to use the logo. But you can see the logo is actually made a little bit more simple. The logo that I always use would have probably been a pain in the ass to try to get that thing peeled as you see me trying to peel this one, which also was still a little complex because I still did want to use a complex shape to see how well this thing actually cuts around and how easy it is to peel off. This cutter did a magnificent job cutting this logo and I'm pretty confident it could have did the even more complex logo after doing this one. I haven't created shirts in fucking years where at least that heat press very, as you can see. So a little shirt creation background. What I do with the heat press is I put the shirt in and I give it a little quick press to just flatten out the shirt. So it's easy to place the actual vinyl cut onto the shirt without it actually getting over wrinkles or anything like that. So you lay your logo in, matte side down, shiny side up. Get some parchment paper, whatever. I'm sure you got that laid around the house when you was cooking or something like that. And you place it over the logo so it actually doesn't put any burn marks on your shirt. So one of the concerns with having an all-in-one machine when Bamboo released the H2D was, is it going to be any compromise with any of the other things, especially the 3D printing portion of this machine? Is there going to be a compromise with the actual cutting portion, the laser, anything like that? But um, I can actually tell you, it actually does everything very well. So the cutter is really accurate the mat very sticky so it actually holds everything in place probably a little too sticky but it actually has those two sides that you saw in the video um the laser if you are looking to cut like wood and heavier materials probably opt for the actual 40 watt laser i got the 10 watt laser um i wasn't really too interested in the laser part mostly of course the 3d printing and the vinyl cutter but um yeah if you are looking for to use this as a laser cutting machine, I would probably suggest a 40 watt laser. The 10 watt laser couldn't really cut through a lot of things. But um, yeah, this machine is really good at everything it does. Um, I'm actually really impressed with it. Happy with actually getting this machine. The cost could have been a little low down, especially buying it during uh, tariffs. But um, it's very useful and I'm probably going to get a lot of use out of it. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm actually planning on reviewing more things in the 3D print realm. Um, I'm still waiting to get the actual high temperature AMS. So stay tuned for all those videos. And again, thanks for watching.